Which one should I buy? The Littman Cardiology 4 or the Littman Classic 3? Hey guys, Nurse Jenny here. The most common question I get asked by students and nursing professionals is which stethoscope should I buy? The Littman Cardiology 4 or the Littman Classic 3? It is an age-old question and I thought I would do this video and break it down for you and hopefully make the choice a little bit easier. So I thought I'd start off with what makes these two stethoscopes different. So looking at the Cardiology 4, it's a cardiology stethoscope which means it's got dual lumen tubing. Now, what is dual lumen tubing? I didn't know that either. So when I first started my research, I actually bought a Cardiology 4 and I cut it apart. So this is, if you can see it, how a dual lumen tubing looks inside. So it's got two channels going in the tubing and one channel goes to your right ear, the other channel goes to your left. And what this does is it allows for less interference with rubbing noises. For example, if I'm using the stethoscope, I'm brushing against sheets or whatever on this side, it's not gonna interfere with what I'm hearing on my left. But if you're doing that with the Classic 3, you're brushing on this side, you're gonna hear it all around in both the ears. So that's what dual lumen tubing means. And then we've got the look of it, of course. This is what you call an A-frame and the regular stethoscope is a Y-frame. The Cardiology 4 also is thicker and shorter in the tubing. And this is to minimize sound interference from traveling from the chest piece to the binaurals. As the name suggests, cardiology stethoscopes are designed to be used in the field of cardiovascular medicine. However, it can also be used for all other purposes, just like a regular stethoscope. Which brings me on to the Classic 3. It has single lumen tubing, which means it doesn't have that divider in the middle, which the dual lumen tubing has. It can also do all of the things that you would use a stethoscope for, like listening to heart sounds, bowel sounds, lung sounds, and do manual blood pressures with it as well. When it comes to the quality of the acoustics between these two stethoscopes, they are hands down both great. However, if you're gonna be nitpicky, the Cardiology 4, in my opinion, is a little bit crisper, and I think it is because of that dual lumen tubing, the tubing being thicker and shorter. So if you are a cardiovascular specialist, you should probably be seen with a cardiology stethoscope around your neck. But in all honesty, what I do for work, I work in med surge, I use my stethoscope a lot, and I am just fine with a regular stethoscope like the Classic 3. So which one should you buy? Well, it's gonna come down to personal preference and how much money you want to spend. These stethoscopes are both really good. Essentially, the Classic 3 can do what the Cardiology 4 can do and vice versa. But consider this, the Cardiology 4 will set you back at about 200 US dollars and the Classic 3 will set you back at about 100 US dollars. So think about that when you're thinking about a stethoscope to buy. Are you a first year nursing student just learning how to use a stethoscope? Do you really need to buy a two $100 stethoscope? Probably not. Then there's the weight and the length of the tubing. And that comes to personal preference as well. I wear my stethoscope around my neck all day, so I like it lightweight, and I also like the added length because then it means that when I do my assessments, I'm not breathing in my patient's face. So all in all, consider the features of the stethoscope and the price and what stage in your nursing career you are at, and then that might make the decision between the Littman Cardiology 4 and the Littman Classic 3 a little bit easier for you. Thank you for watching my video, and if you are still unsure of what stethoscope to buy, I have done a load of stethoscope reviews stethoscope versus stethoscope videos that you can check out on my channel. Thanks for watching, I'll see you on the next one and remember as always, listen with your heart.